This is the weather extreme video for Thursday morning, the 4th of February. James Spann here about to get wet statewide. Looks like a big soaking for much of the deep south and our friends up north will deal with a lot of snow from this thing. Let's take a look at the uh, Skycam images this morning. First off, coming from Tuscaloosa. Looking downtown where they are beginning to see some light rain falling early this morning. Up in Jasper, no rain yet, but they will see it uh, by midday today. And up in Gadsden, again, they are dry, but uh, rain is not that far away. Really an impressive storm there coming in the southern branch of the jet stream. It's your classic El Nino enhancement, and that's going to bring some decent rainfall amounts around here. And again, up north, it's going to be snow. There's a look at our watch warning map. Now, we've got flash flood watches for southern parts of Mississippi and Alabama, almost all of Georgia. We don't think the rain here will be enough for widespread flooding. There could be some localized problems. And uh, winter storm advisories across the nation's heartland and winter storm watches from near Indianapolis and Cincinnati back over toward uh, Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, where some folks up there could be re really be hammered. Here's a look at the uh, big picture this morning. You can see rain uh, from uh, Alabama and Georgia back over to Arkansas, Louisiana and southeastern Texas. There's our radar at 5 o'clock, the insane hour of 5 o'clock and the rain approaching Birmingham. Uh, light rain falling down in Tuscaloosa, and again, that big rain mass will overspread the entire state this morning. Here's a QPF chart. Rain for the next five days. This is valid through Monday evening of next week at uh, 6 o'clock, and this is suggesting rainfall amounts of nearly three inches near Mobile and amounts up this way about one and a half inches. And there's our uh, snow outlook for tomorrow. This is day two or Friday, and uh, that's where the big snows will be seen. Again, from Indianapolis and uh, Cincinnati over to Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. This is going to be the snowiest winter ever for uh, the District of Columbia and parts of Virginia. And uh, the ice outlook tomorrow, that could be kind of messy. Uh, around Lynchburg and Asheville, North Carolina, places like that, they could see some freezing rain involved with that snow. So if you're traveling up there, be aware of that. Let's look at modeling. This is the uh, GFS, the 06Z run, valid at noon today. There's your trough, and there's your rain. Uh, rain will be uh, widespread, we think, by midday today. Tomorrow, and uh, of course tonight, I think the heaviest rain will come probably from about uh, 4 or 5 this afternoon through late tonight. Now, tomorrow, the surface low is down there near Bainbridge, Georgia. And at midday tomorrow, the heaviest rain should be east of the state. But we'll still mention uh, light rain or drizzle at times throughout the day, still cloudy. And then Saturday, the main storm is uh, just offshore, and that's when some really big snows could be going on up in uh, D.C. should be winding down by Saturday evening. And again, you can see evidence of low clouds and moisture wrapping back in here Saturday. So I think the day will be cloudy and colder, although the latest runs have not been as cold. Still, I get the idea we'll stay in the 40s all day Saturday with a cool north breeze, kind of a raw day, maybe some drizzle Saturday morning. And then Sunday, the sun comes back. Should be a sunny day and a, a chilly day with a high mid to upper 40, something like that, as we're in between waves. But as you all know, this is a very active pattern. And Monday, here comes the next one. And uh, rain breaks out to the west, and snow breaks out over northern Arkansas and parts of Tennessee and up into Missouri. And there's Monday night at midnight. And again, the GFS has been pretty consistent here with all rain with this, with the snow well up north. And then Tuesday, the rain is off to the east by midday. Quick pick at the uh, European. That's it uh, Tuesday evening, and the European is slower. Uh, it's got the rain still in here Tuesday evening. So we'll mention a chance of rain Monday night and Tuesday. We'll fine-tune that, but uh, confidence is growing that it will be a rain event. And then Wednesday of next week, cold air advection. Could be a pretty chilly day there with a high only in the low and mid-40s. Thursday, a week from today, looks uh, cool and dry. And a week from tomorrow, here comes that storm we've been watching. This is the uh, 12th, another uh, Gulf low. It looks uh, snowy for Oklahoma and maybe Arkansas. And then on uh, Saturday, the 13th, uh, the GFS really suppresses this thing way south and really doesn't have a lot of cold air in here. But 
Remember, the Arctic Oscillation is strongly negative at that point. I still think somebody across the Deep South could see some snow or ice with that. Now, whether it's Tennessee or Kentucky or down here, we don't know yet. But this operational run shunts it way south with not much cold air. And on the 14th, Valentine's Day, it's gone. And at the end of the forecast on the 19th, here comes our next trough and our next big wet down. And again, somebody with that will probably see big snows up in the cold air just north of that. And again, there's the deal. There's the Arctic Oscillation. You can see that strong negative spike in mid-month. And traditionally, that would open the door for some pretty cold air to get down in here. We'll see. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.